Hi, this is Joey again, and I want to share a fall time tasty secret. I was going to talk about making ginger cookies, but honestly, it's what I make on the side when I make ginger cookies that I really wanted to share with you. Usually I do a candy ginger, so I start with my fresh ginger and I candy it and I put that in my cookies. And if you want to do that, we could talk about that later. But really, it's the honey that's left over. I use honey to candy my ginger with and you strain it out and that honey afterwards amazing. So I'm having a cup of tea, just a simple chai tea bag that I put in some hot water, and I'm now going to put the ginger honey into it. Start with your fresh ginger, peel it with a spoon, put it in some water and honey, and if you want those recipes, I'll list those out later. And then here's your witchy in your cauldron. You can use your stirring stick to put in sigils or symbols that you want to infuse it, and then simply strain it after it's kind of thickened up again. And that's it. You can put that ginger on a cookie sheet with uh, baking paper on it. And then there's the honey. And you let that sit for a little bit more, put it in your cookies. And then of course, use the honey in your tea or coffee. Or I was thinking about making some frosting for those cookies as well. Hmm. So there it is. That's it. That is the taste of fall. This is a nice cup of chai, but I would do it in coffee in a heartbeat, maybe even some apple cider if you want to sweeten it up, but that's usually pretty sweet. But these chai tea bags that I have are kind of boring, but with this spicy ginger with a little bit of honey, splash of milk, perfect.